<laughs> What's going on, guys? It is Bernardo, and today is all about creating a domain join and deployment configuration profile. So let's get right into that. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is log in into our Microsoft 365 admin center. On the left hand side, we're going to locate and click on the endpoint manager, and it's going to take us here. Uh, from here, we're going to locate devices, click on that. Once devices is loaded, we will click on Windows. And within Windows, we're going to click on Configuration Profiles. Now, I don't have anything yet, so let's create a new one. So let's locate Create Profile, click on that. And on the right-hand side, you're going to get a side menu. Now, for the platform, we're going to click on the drop-down menu, and we're going to pick Windows 10 or later. And for the profile type, we're going to click the drop down and we're going to pick templates. We've got a lot of templates. Now, the template that we're going to focus on would be the domain join. So select it and all the way to the bottom, click on create. Now, once you click on create, we need to do five things. The first thing is give it a name. Let's give it a name and then click on next. Configuration settings for the computer name prefix. This is what I'm going to give it. You're going to enter your domain name and your organizational unit of where you want to drop your computers into. This is where I'm going to drop it. Now, click on next. For assignments, I am going to click on add groups. On the right hand side, you're going to get a side menu. You're going to locate your group. Uh, the group that I'm going to locate and select would be my autopilot devices and then click on select. Then click next there. For rules, I'm not going to set any rules, so I'm just going to click on next. Review and create, and click on create. And on the upper right hand side, it's going to say profile created. Give it some time and your new profile should pop up right there. Pretty easy, right? Now on the left hand side, let's click on devices. And within devices, let's click on windows. Within Windows, we are going to click on Windows Enrollment. And within here, underneath where it says Windows Autopilot Deployment Program, we're going to locate and click on Deployment Profiles. So click on that. It's going to take you here. Now, we already created a Windows Autopilot Deployment Profile a while back, so we're going to create a new one. So click on the button that says Create Profile and then select Windows PC. Let's give it a name. This is the name that I'm going to give it and convert all targeted devices to autopilot. I'm going to slide that to your right for yes. Awesome. Click on next for the out of box experience. The section that says join to Azure AD as let's click on the drop down menu and I'm going to select hybrid Azure AD joined. Now, next thing that you want to do is locate the skip AD connectivity check and you're going to slide it to the yes. Reason why is because it, this process will take a long time uh, if you are not within your network to join AD. So this will skip it. So let's click on next assignments. I'm going to click on add groups and I'm going to select my group. I'm going to choose my autopilot devices and then click on select and then click next here, review and create. And then once you're done, you're able to click on create and the upper right hand side is going to say the profile successfully assigned, uh, profile successfully created, which is awesome. And then there goes our new hybrid windows profile. Uh, and that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.